baby, don't mess around me, cause she loves me so, and this I know for sure. But does she really wanna, but can stand to see me walk out the door? That's my bitch, that's my bitch, bitch. Big ol' booty bitch bases from Texas, what's this? I'm a mosquito, a nigga gon' catch me, catch me And that's my bestie, my bestie, my best friend Go best friend, go best friend What's up, dopeies? It's your fashion best friend and I'm back with another video If you're new here, welcome If you're true here, welcome back Today's gonna be a bit of a get ready with me. The only thing that I won't put in there is my makeup. I, this is my makeup from last night. I'm gonna touch it up, get it together. I didn't wanna take it off and put it back on. Too time consuming. So, I'm going to touch up this makeup, make it look good, and go out with the girls. Cause we're going to brunch. So, get ready with me. Y'all already know how this go. I'm gonna show y'all the outfit, where I got it from, how I put it together. And we're gonna have us a, a good time right right before we get into this vlog don't forget to like comment subscribe turn that bell on so you're notified each and every time that your girl uploads a new vlog check them out cootie patootie girl so they already dressed i've already gotten them together let's get into this outfit so i got this jumpsuit that i got from divas boutique online um i don't know if i'm going to wear the orange shirt. i think i'm going to wear the orange because it's very, it's complimenting that very well but i got the clear shoe here just to play it safe if i wanted to but y'all know i'm very risque and then i'm gonna top it off with this teflar bag and these gold glasses so yeah let's put this together so if you watch my birthday vlog you see that my friend had got me some shower oil and some uh whip something with some hand soap and y'all this shower gel it smells so good but it leaves your skin so soft like i absolutely love it i even put it on the girls i mean why not you know what i'm saying so i'm about to go ahead and get myself oiled up i'm gonna touch my makeup up and we gonna get into this look honey because when it comes to a look your fashion best friend don't serve it Period. We outside and then what So yeah, I just picked up my best friend. I didn't get to show y'all my outfit because time was not on my side, but y'all already know I'm gonna let y'all see it when time is on my side. But we on our way to Nashville. I still gotta drop the munchkins off and then we're gonna go. So I've already been here before, so you've seen this place in a previous walk a couple times, but I didn't see inside, I said outside. This time I'm seeing inside. So the aesthetics is definitely different. But I see y'all when we get them. We are here at the pool club. We just got here. Time is usually on my side, but since I got these kids, me and time management just ain't been working, but I still show up no matter how long it takes, you know? So we're about to get on the elevator, go to the 14th floor and be cute, you know? The thing is thing, honey. It is thing. <laughs> it is thing. Look at me, y'all. The thing be thing. Right. So let's get on. Look at me, baby. Oh, I'm really my round. That's a uh, Merlin yeah, Deville. Hey. <laughs> Madam.
Cause she loves me so when there's a now for show But does uh, she really wanna But can stand to see me walk out the door Okay y'all so I'm back home I had a good time. For some odd reason, every place that we went to this weekend, the customer service was terrible. Like the people just act like they had an attitude, they didn't want to help us. I really don't get it, but I can't care. Can't worry about it. So I'm currently at home. You know, schools in Davidson County do start back tomorrow. So I'm getting my nephew ready. To go to school tomorrow and i'm chilling out until it's time for me to lay it down because when i say even with going out this weekend i'm really really tired like i'm really tired my body is exhausted my body's always overworked is what it seems like so yeah what's up y'all so y'all Today was the first day back to school and let me my let me just add that your girl was emotional. Like my boy was ready to go to school and I'm just like teary eyed. Every time I've looked at his picture today, I'm teary eyed because like I've never sent the kid off to school. So getting him up this morning, you know, getting him dressed, making sure he looks presentable and then sending him off to school was just like so emotional for me. Like I feel like a parent. But I'm on my way to meet my wife. She's going to meet him. I mean, she's going to get him from school. So I'm on my way to meet them because she has to work overnight um, and not coming home. So I got to, of course, get him home, get him ready for school tomorrow. If they have school. I don't even know if they have school, but we're going to find out today. Um, get him ready for school if he has school. And then she's going to meet, come and get him in the morning or later on. You know, come home later on that night and then get him and text so he can go to school but i'm i was so emotional i've still been a little hmm, but every time i look at his picture like eyes get teary or whatever but i am definitely looking forward to hearing how his first day of school was so when we get to them i'm gonna be back so that way we can see how his first day of school was y'all ready i'm ready Y'all, she been gone for a month. Came home and did a seafood bowl. Y'all, I forgot to show y'all. Well, not that I forgot to show y'all. I couldn't show y'all him and get his school review yesterday because my camera died. Okay. So how was your first day of school? My first day of school was good. He loves school, y'all. This boy says school make him feel cool. He be so excited. You happy to be home? Hell yeah. You happy I'm home? <laughs> you think so? I don't know. I thought she didn't know where she lived at no more. Look at this sauce she made now. <laughs> Let's dig in. Good morning. So we are on our way to school for the first time. I'm taking him to school. Usually my wife does it, but we're going to school. TT's taking him to school. And we got an appointment for this one today. Um, she has to do speech therapy. So she goes to her first appointment today um, to do an evaluation to make sure that she qualifies um for speech therapy or whatever so that's what our day is going to consist of so yeah we're busy even on our off days so oh i hope y'all enjoy the day with us you have a good day at school honey bun okay tt love you and make sure they send them car rider slips home. Okay. The door not. Oh. Oh, look at them. Have a great day. 
So we've never been here before. We're at A and E Bar and Lounge, clearly your neighborhood bar. Um, we're about to see what they're talking about. They got a little outside scenery. I'm seeing here. So we'll see how this goes. because we had to get the kids to get them back in bed because Isaiah had school. You know, one thing that I've learned, it is very hard to love on your partner, spend time with your partner, and things like that when you have kids. It's like, now that we have kids, like, I never really understood what it's like when people be like, well, I'm tired from this or I'm tired from that. I can't do this and I can't do that until I actually got the kids. So, the only time that me and my wife get to spend together is the little 30 to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour before it's time for us to go to bed. And we're so tired, we're not even really enjoying each other. We're really just, you know, settling down in the bed, getting comfortable. And next thing you know, we're asleep because we're so tired. And we do the same thing every single day. So with us trying to go on that date, we had a, a date plan to go to Oak Steakhouse in Nashville. But it's like, dang, we didn't even think about schools back. So with our date being at 6, we would have had to leave here at 5 to get there at 6. You know, to get back up here and then get back up here by 8 to pick the kids up. And then get him back home in the shower and, you know, all of those things. So we didn't even go there. We didn't dress up how we wanted to, no nothing. Reason being is because... I had to take him to school this morning. He goes to school in Nashville. Then I had a nail appointment. Taylor had an appointment. He got out of school at 3. I would have got back up here by 4. It's just press for time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like children do make your life challenging. But once you find the balance, I guess it's, it's easier. Um... We have a bit of a balance, but just quality, like quality time and being able to go on dates and really date each other is the is the challenge now. So, yeah, because before we got the kids, baby, a date night, a day day, top priority, period. So not being able to do that now is definitely is a little bothering, but you know. We make it work. But I'm going to end this vlog here. I appreciate you all. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell so you're notified for this next vlog that's about to drop. Because it's dropping soon. But if you ain't subscribed, you won't know. Go best friend. Go best friend. Go best friend. Go best friend. Go best friend.